On the left, the Baylor lineup, Medford, Freeman, Wainwright, Prince, and Gathers. On the right, Mason, Graham, Selden, Perry Ellis, and Hunter Nicholson. Scott Drew, 13th season as the head coach at Baylor, has won 238 games with the Bears. And somewhere in that huddle, the head coach of Kansas also in his 13th season, Bill Self. Vern Raff, Lundquist and Bill Raff, we can't hear each other. No, it's unbelievable the noise here. Uh, take a look at the officials here, Vern. Doug Sermon, Ron Gruber, and Darren George. This is a home court advantage. And right Indeed. now, Vern Lundquist, Miller goes! A little 1-3-1 one, one with some minimum principles. <laughs> Mason looks inside. And you end up with some quarter jumpers. They love to trap this. They do a terrific job. And a nice post entry. That's Perry Ellis. What a size. They really collapse and do a great job. A lot of man-to-man -man early this year by Baylor, but known as a zone coach. Nice ball screen. Wainwright with the screen. Yes, indeed. Here's Mickelson defending. Ooh. Oh, that was a beautiful Gattles. play, I thought. Now they're going to get Mickelson on the block. Uh, for the foul, but you can just see what they want to do, establish low the power inside of Gathers. He just moves buildings with that wide body. And Gathers will go to the line, averaging a double-double this year. He is the leader in rebounds with 11 per game. Probably end up with a 1,000 rebounds before he's finished, this kid. What a solid guy. Clears out so much area. Gathers a senior, one of three seniors in the starting five for Baylor. Baylor comes in 10 and 2. Kansas 11 and 1. And gets their defense set up a little three-quarter court pressure right now. Here's Frank Mason and Devontae Graham. And it's really a 2-3, but they shape according to where you go, so it has varying looks. You gotta drive the gap like this and find people. Graham with the jumper for three. Got it. He can shoot it. Devante, great with the bounce, but also the ability to drill. This Kansas team is shooting so well from the three-pointer. There's another high screen from Gathers. Backdoor. Loose ball. Graham has it. Hit as he falls. And Freeman gets... Freeman gets the little tag in the open floor to area one. You've got to get back defensively. It's just, just a terrific understanding here. You drive that gap and then fine. Pretty basketball, solid. And they, the three guys you mentioned, Sullivan being the third, can really ring the bell. So all of them can utilize their ability to put it down and be creative. Well, Sullivan inbounds, gets it in the hands of Grail. This slows you down too, which is part of the philosophy, I think. Scott Drew, you know this fast-paced club likes to get up and down, Kansas. Mickelson wants it. They go for the three-pointer. That's off the mark. Nice Ellis with the football. And that's the Whoa. one thing you can't identify. And Ellis, such a steady player. Mr. Consistency. Lester Medford at the other end. Here's Gathers out high. A dribble exchange is tough because it gathers width. Into the corner, Medford back outside. Wainwright. Look at Ellis. Oof, beautiful Great defense. Day. Sure was. And this is where they're dangerous in the early. Ellis into the corner. Selden kicks it back outside. Jumper for three. Got it. And a little look for the crowd by Gavante. The onslaught early. Timeout. Well, the best play against the zone is to put it on the deck. Get two to play one, but boy, are they filling it up. Acknowledging and a great position rebound by the big fella, Perry Ellis.
And here, just coordinating. Nice help from the top from Mickelson, but moving the feet and down the other end. Drive it. Break down that D and get those puppies organized. Graham, and right there, a little noise, a little chatter. So eight unanswered for Kansas now. And timeout called by Bader. And Bell is going to have to do the same thing collectively on the defensive end. Kansas is rallying at the point of attack. You've got to create a passing lane and then they have to kick it. And Medford very good at that. Freeman as well finds people. And Wainwright we saw get to the rim but uh, couldn't find anybody. Lester Medford guarded by Frank Mason. Well, this is your era this weave. A little weave at the back. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and nice uh, not so coincidentally, yours as well. <laughs> uh, don't rub it in. <laughs> uh, nice little using the rim by Gathers, too, but getting free. Ellis, nice return pass. Mason, there's the overload. How about the cross court pass? Selden takes it hard and gets it. What a body, though, huh? He can deliver a hit and take one. Too hard. Catch, tough yeah. catch, tough. Gathers couldn't hold the hard pass. Devontae Graham, nice one touch into the corner. Yeah, is he shooting the ball? I'm, I, you know, he makes you a believer the way he's ringing the bell with that three. Not only is the team ready, the crowd's ready. Just got to withstand it right now if you're Baylor. Composure. Maybe something at the rim with Gathers. And there it goes. Got a little hook game. There's Gathers, doubled by Perry Ellis. Good pass. Return pass, little jump hook. Too strong. Here comes KU. They are five of seven from the field. Mason takes it strong and hits the rim on the way up. Great balance here. Getting back and identifying Prince getting going a little bit. Nope. Nope. Again. Uh, the strength and the ability to put it on the deck. They're so creative on the perimeter, but here able to take that hit, hang, and deliver. A little crawler, but just the ability outside, stretching that D. You just can't cover all of them. Three on the outside, drilling the open looks. Drink responsibly. We welcome all of you to Allen Field House on the campus of the University of Kansas. Kansas and Baylor, Big 12 opening weekend. And Kansas off to a sensational start. They have a 10-point lead. And after the zone not being effective, they go man-to-man. -man. Look at this penetration. Wow. Again, get a touch in the three-second and either find or deliver. That was Mason going hard to the basket. 15-3, Kansas 6 of 9, Vern Lundquist, along with Bill Rafferty. And Motley Murray's in the game now, pretty good around the rim, a nice little spin out. Also, Maston is another nice player, a terrific hook with either hand. Now, let's take a look at uh, those who are on the court. On the left, Baylor, Medford Freeman, Jonathan Motley just entered the game. Torian Prince and Terry Maston also came in. The foul was on Hunter Mickelson. And not one of those guys that can post up, they have a plethora of them. Plethora, even. Yeah. You probably had that when you examined Lutheran, that word. But they, they just have a terrific talent to seal and find. But the activity defensively of Kansas has been excellent. Motley at the line on this opening weekend of the Big 12 Conference Weekend. Mm -hmm. Conference play. Power Conference, too. But five of the top 25 in this conference. Well, this is a kid that really is a, such a solid performer, Ellis. Whether it's a corner jumper, occasionally bites you with that three from deep. Guards like crazy, 50% from deep. Perry Ellis for the season now, 9 of 17 from three-point range at 6-8. Nice oh. entry there. Maston with the entry pass. Motley, short, rebound. Kansas. Not an attractive delivery by Motley. Carlson Bragg is on the floor now, number 15 for the Jayhawks. 
And Bill mentioned to both of us that he thinks he can come along and really help him. Asks for the ball, gets it, kick out, into the corner, nice one touch. Got it. They don't miss. The coverage, you're going to have to stay at home. A weak side help, you're going to have to play a lot of individual defense against this team. They stretch you out big time. Five of six on three-pointers for Kansas. Now Freeman has it, guarded by Graham, Devontae Graham. Turnover. Well, let's take a look, Bill, at that last possession for KU. Well, they break it down either with the dribble or the entry, and everybody else gets those puppies organized to deliver. And nice weak side, you just can't cover all of that. Excellent ball movement and the acknowledgement with the drill. Well, a torrid start for the Jayhawks. Selden is three of three with uh, eight points so far. And here's that point zone again. Essentially a 1-1-3 that morphs into wherever you are. They go back on top, Graham. Well, Selden, why not? Goodness, how deep is that? Selden misses. He's hitting 53% from three-point range this season. Baylor has never won here. They've got a formidable mountain to climb if they're going to win their first. But he's playing with so much confidence now, raising that level of play. Push it. Had an advantage. Selden went for the steal, didn't get it. Now Medford, number 11, guarded by Selden. Motley, number 5, sets the high screen. Rico gathers is back on the floor. Stolen by Graham. Two on two. <laughs> Pulls up. Why not? Exactly. Uh, Bill, take him out. He's killing you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that dribble exchange, that's a scouting steal that they had. Look how quick they are. Tenacious, the aren't they? Yes. Oh. Alert. Kansas, three of five. Look at the three-point range. It's amazing. And as a team, they're hitting 45% from beyond the arc. And that's because of passing, getting your feet organized, passes to the proper shooting area, catch and deliver, and the dribble drive. Kansas on the 16-1 to one run. You can see where Bill has really worked hard on denying that dribble handoff. Look at him going for it. Jumper. Nope, too strong. Nice rebound. Yes, Ishmael Wainwright. And a so foul called on Mason. A little nickel diamond. <laughs> wow. It's like a sledgehammer, isn't it? Yeah. Where they came out. You talk about making shots. Green, the guy who can really drill it. Brandon Green, who uh, served a five game suspension for violation of team rules. Uh, substitutions. Al Freeman is out. Jake Lindsay is on the floor. Freshman out of Salt Lake. And he will inbound it. Sorry, yeah, very good. To finish on Green. He's a terrific three point shooter, 12 of 19. And Lindsay can really make plays. Nice throw penetration. Yes. Good job. Jake Lindsay, freshman from Salt Lake. Chance to chat for a minute today with his dad, Dennis. Yeah, right? his dad, Dennis, is the general manager of the Utah Jazz and is here. Traveled with the team. And, and a foul on the wing right. Is wing right. I was talking about just being aggressive and putting the ball on and get in the lane. This is what they've been able to do, and this time Lindsay's able to finish it. And they just be a little more relaxed. This is the end that they're struggling on, though. Look back in it by stops. Right jumper. No, oh, not a good foul there. Always got caught underneath. It's on Perry Ellis, yeah. What's the last game you were here? Uh, I was here Missouri, Kansas, playing for the last time. You were here when Fog Allen was coaching, couldn't you? I was here with Naismith, who was the first coach. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I just let you set me up. I used his syllabus, uh, James Damon, Naismith, because there is so much history here. It's like coming into the museum. Well, it is my favorite arena in college mm -hmm. basketball. I just love when we're lucky enough to do, get to do a game here. Tradition. There's so many great coaches and players. 
Nice cross. Wainwright taken away. And a foul is going to be called. And in a way, I'm not so sure Baylor is used to playing at this level right now because, you know, maybe what you might call a little bit of a softer schedule. You come into a building like this and the aggressive nature and great defense, it rocks a little. You can see the disparity and disparity in uh, made field goals so far. Nice give. Was it ever? Back to Bragg. Here's Devontae Graham. When Green gets in the game, there's a lot of post scrubs. He can shoot it, as noted. Jumper. Selden is perfect. That, now, that is a big time pull up. Those shoulders and elevation. Selden now five of five, 13 points. Medford picked out by Devontae Graham. And the trailer out there brings a lot of energy. Rebound. Nice cross. French back on the floor. And there's a foul. It's going to be called underneath. Let's take a look at Wayne Selden so far. Well, uh, take a great look. Uh, this kid is big time. The way he's been shooting the basketball. Uh, this team is so solid on the perimeter. If he's a tough match as a small forward. Six foot five, a big look. Stretch it out. You got to come chase him. The three guys you got to match up with. Now, Torian Prince at the line. He had a career high 34 points in the win over New Mexico State and then came back in their last win and was two for 12 for six. So a little inconsistent. Well, you've had bad days, haven't you? I have had mm -hmm. a few. Not many. Not many. I know you've had good nights. <laughs> now, this is the player, I think. He's got to be a, a guy that can pick the D apart with a dribble. You can make the step out three. Now let's check the Kansas five and the four. We've got Mason. In the corner is Selden. Here's Jamari Trailer, number 31. Nice block to glass and go. Well, Green has mixed his game up last game. He started to put it on the deck because the scouting report on that catch and shoot. Medford, Prince, Lindsay. See they play the Lindsay and that's that handoff they're calling. Yeah. You turn and turn your back on the handoff. Never miss a moment of college basketball with the CBS Sports app. Every play and score, every game, and every highlight, right as they happen. Download the CBS Sports app right now. This is the first thing they've done slow. Right. That is that little baseline bumps. Fade screen. Mason. Nice little down screen to get Green a look. Running Green. Woo. Look at Bright get up there. Uh, that's what he does. He brings that energy and excitement. Offensive rebound. Don't give them more opportunities. Front rim. Gathers. 11 rebounds per game. Yeah, they're going to have to grunt it out there and not get it down the floor versus Kansas. Terrific balance. Medford is fouled. For the tradition in this building, you know, for example, walk through the hallways and you see the pictures, uh, you know, reminiscent about Wilt. There's Dean Smith playing here in 52. Because, you know, I remember the 57 game. A real jump center against Carolina against Tommy Kearns. Right. And uh, ended up eventually uh, the winning. Frank McGuire being the coach. And they honored Wilt here. Retired his uniform. And he thought maybe they were mad, they tell us, that he had left early. Right. And uh, he, he was so... They, they just put their arms around him, embraced him, and uh, said he just loved his experience here. And so many great names. Well, it leads me to the observation that Meadowlark Lemon died last week, uh, the clown prince of basketball, mm -hmm. and Will Chamberlain said he was the greatest player we ever saw. How about that? Yeah. And they still see him pulling the string on the free throw. Exactly. Uh, Stuff in the basketball. Yeah, well, you, you have that trick, too. You put the ball under the shirt. <laughs> it just looks that way. Here's Prince, 28-9. Nice run. He yes. took the hit, too. He did. Ellis just a little bit late on the cover. Brandon Green, number 14. And Lucas on the floor now, too. Seals. 
That's right, like he turns and faces and challenges. Ellis, Ellis misses twice at the rim. Look at the balance though. Right? Nice yep. cross. Oh, was it ever? <laughs> yes. A little lingerie on the deck, and right away, little self not impressed. One of the few times I've been able to explode up the floor, but a prince of a move is something they've sorely needed right here. Ellis over a little late, able to take that bang and finish the deal. The blue bar and finish a free man. And we welcome you back to Allen Fieldhouse. 28-13, Bill Self just called time. It had been a 20-point lead. Self in his 13th year here. Scott Brew in his 13th year at Baylor. And, and a foul. foul. Yeah, I think. Did they get Prince? Prince? Yeah, just a little nice seal by Ellis. Just turned on his guy, locked in the lane. Not doing your homework early defensively cost them. Well, Bill, you mentioned nothing but winning, huh? Steve well, he's great. amazing. Started at Oral Roberts. Bill Self played at uh, Oklahoma State. I first met him when he was a coach at Tulsa. Mm -hmm. Then three years at Illinois and came here 13 years ago. 11 straight Big 12 championships. I mean, that's unheard of. Uh, I think anybody who wants to win this year has got to go through him. Just alongside him, Norm Roberts. Had been at St. John's for a while. Terrific guy. Some was on the team last few years. Rick Townsend. Mm -hmm. And Ellis. What a story for Perry Ellis. Out of Wichita, four-time state champion. And uh, decided to come back for his senior year. Quality player. Quiet player. Yeah, you know what? He does so many things nicely. He's so polished. And a good passer, too. A terrific teammate. He's also a great student. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's still true, but he had a four point for a while. I, I did read that. Yeah. Did I read he was a valedictorian in high school? Yes, sir. Yeah. I was the last to speak in high school. <laughs> Freeman. This is Motley. Nice double screen there. Yep. Well, how about the defense by Ellis? Goes to the deck. Loose ball back outside. And four, got to shoot it. Two. Freeman. Air ball. Shot clock violation. Well, double header for you tomorrow. The NFL on CBS. Lead game early. A lot of consequences in that one for the Jets. And then late, San Diego at Denver. It all begins with James Brown, the quartet. The NFL today presented by Southwest Airlines. And I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, two pretty good basketball players on that set, and Gonzalez and JB. You can't keep making threes. So better defense the last couple of trips and an open opportunity. Pretty. And they had, that's yep. normally, that doesn't occur with the great balance of KU. Here's Perry Ellis outside. Empty side. They like to run that. And if he didn't have it, he had Ellis on the wing, too. But great body control by Selden. And he's got a body to control. <laughs> Selden averaging 15 points per game. He's equal to that. Six of six for 15 points. Same play this end to the empty side. Nice adjustment with the hand. And a foul called on the Got rebound. To Got to finish that. 7-12 to go first half. Wayne Selden. Perfect from the floor. It's coming. The college football playoff is getting close. Side with Avery Self. And Vernon was a great ball movement, whether they dribbled and kicked or just reversed it around the outside. Tardy closeouts. And all of a sudden, you take it on the chin. What do you have left? Uh, right now, Baylor's playing a lot better. Uh, the defense has shored up a little. You can't keep making threes like that. I'm sure that's what the coaches keep telling the Baylor guys. Just get there. Jonathan Motley at the line, and that one. Took a left turn. Yeah, he should have made the deuce. You know, yep. now he potentially goes empty on this trip. Well, this is not uh, his strength. He's 58% for the year. I think we're going to being overly critical. <laughs> I'm sure the family appreciates that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is back. Uh, 
Martin get a little tougher, maybe. That's on the exactly. floor. For, uh, excuse me, Bill. Sheck Diallo was on the floor for the first time, number 13. And a big work in progress, according to Bill Self. Guy's got a big upside. Sets the screen, little pick and roll. Here's Diallo. Now that's you gonna harass that pass. Molly didn't do a good job. Air ball as the shot clock was winding down. Landon Lucas is also on the floor. Mason and Graham, the two guards. Uh, that's twice once he's gotten into the lane and they got something good out of it. Not a good shot. Back outside for Freeman. Now Lindsay. He's six five, the freshman out of Salt Lake City, wearing number three. Ball screen empty side. See how they handle it. Wow, they got it. Wow. Go yeah. yeah. They did. <laughs> Underneath. Check Diallo out of the country of Mali. Thank Top you. recruit, but uh, there were some issues with his uh, high school transcript and uh, took a while to get resolved with the NCAA. His personal journey is amazing. He came to the United States when he was 15, had played basketball for only two or three years at that time, and uh, wound up at a high school on Long Island. Long Island. Exactly. You've been out there. Uh, of course, this is all about fundamentals for him, and uh, the more they practice, and Bill alluded to that, that he hopes by the end of the year, you know, come tournament time, that he'll have to find his game and understand how to handle ball screens and different de uh, defensive maneuvers. Bill Self was talking about his ability to go end to end on the court. Oh, he can run. Yeah, he, he gets up and down. Puppies up and down. Mason and takes it outside. Seldon, he hasn't missed yet. Wow. And then that Lindsay was there. I mean, the pros out was there. He's just stronger, bigger, and can elevate. Plumba. Gracious. Seven of seven for 18 points. And they're riding this ball screen because they're getting in the lane with nice hesitation. Nice block underneath. That's what he does best. Well, Diallo went to the foot. No, it was Lyndon Lucas. Back outside. They said they fumbled, but gathers the presence to finish the deal. Rico gathers. I don't think you want to get him mad, Vern. No. Even I can't protect you. He is a large human being. Mm. Second cousin of the late Hank Gavis. Yeah, I did see that. Uh, loyal to Mary Mouse. He's got an NFL body. There's Diallo. Oh, why not? He acknowledges the pass. Yep, got it from Selvin. And he's an MVP in the McDonald game, the George game, and he's a sub at Kansas. Think yeah, about that. that's right. Guys, you give up their lunch money to have him. Well, Bill Self was telling us he's got a long way to go. Enormous upside. He got Gavin's now use it. A nice double, and he has problems with this. From the corner, in and out. Diallo with a rebound. And out the kick. fast. This is Mason. And right at the rim is Lucas. See how they turn the body? Exquisite job of ducking in. Diallo with a jumper. In and out. Better settle down a little bit now. Uh oh, hello. Numbers. He's got Selden, he'll take it himself. Uh, a fast break igniter, and that's what he's gonna be able to do. Presence, and keeps it in play. 19 point lead. And it just breaks your defense down. Here he is again, nice job pump faking. Motley, yes he did. Nice little delivery there as well. A little kiss by the big guy. That's what you have to do. You like the block shots, you got a pump fake. Shot fake. Mason comes out to get this one from Selma. Diallo, blocked, Motley. Oh, he wants to be going American today. <laughs> Graham. Nope. He was right on it, too. Over the top. Uh, get Lucas, maybe? How about it? When you got the negator in the back, uh, good things happen. You end up with a jumper as well. And the compliment on the pass as well. Get it out. Big guy. Uh, 
Burn, we talked about fundamentals. Well, uh, this is just a natural reaction. Look at that. He comes over the aloe and starts the fast break. And smart play here by Mason just controls the defender. Mason did the two on one to make the pass, but that's all set up by. The big guy to loom at large. Well, we'll go back to New York at the half. Adam, Doug, Seth, and Swin Cash in the studio. They'll analyze the first half and scores and highlights from around the country. And in most parts of the country, league play is now, conference play is now underway. Mm -hmm. The real deal. And what a tough place to come for your open oh my gosh. Big 12. Uh, but now they've been hanging around 17, now 16. You know, this is a seasoned team. They really have done such a nice job in the last few years and you know solid play but boy they were not ready early. Well Baylor lost at Oregon back in November and they recently visited their old conference mates at Texas A&M and got hammered. Did you see that Nate? only Fred Hoiberg, Travis Ford, and Tom Izzo have beaten Kansas three times? I did see that note. How about that? When you think of it? Well, not here though. Is Bailey. Seldon nice. underneath the bang. A little bit late. I turn Carlton Bragg underneath. Monday on CBS, these geniuses welcome the new year in the middle of nowhere. New Scorpion Monday at 9, 8 Central, only CBS. Carlton Bragg, freshman out of Cleveland. He and Diallo, two of the Outstanding recruits for the Kansas team this year. Well, Bill mentioned him to both of us, too. This is a kid that brings a lot of energy, offensive rebounding effort. He's a big upside. Good in that high low game, makes the entry. Ooh, nice touch. Mm. Well, the, it is so tough to, to be the opponent. A 30 game win streak 12 0 versus Baylor, 13 0 in Lawrence. And the last loss two years ago this weekend to San Diego State. And the five unbeaten seasons at home. How about yeah. that? Well, just a little context here. Bill Self, 13 years. How many times has he walked off this court a loser? Nine. How about that? 13 years. I'd walk out of my house a loser. <laughs> Amazing run. But it, you know, they're so good defensively. It's not just this end of the floor. That's the first miss for Selden. Mm -hmm. And it was a tough shot. Freeman. And a little run the next couple of minutes could make this interesting. Motley saves it from going out of bounds. And they're playing more confidently. A little hole there. That's the one they're calling. Nobody likes to see it. Mason with that small change giveaway. Tenth team foul. And so double bonus the rest of the way now. How about him, Mason, the World University Games, the MVP, and the gold medal game? I watched the Harvard tape that ready for this. He had 21 points, four steals. And he doesn't cough the ball up. And he just made really good with Yeah, he's in the last five or six games, he's like a six to one turnover ratio. Assist to turnover. Medford. Hit a big three a game winner against Vanderbilt. Both of these teams have Vanderbilt wins. Uh, Kansas has came in Maui. You missed doing that, the Maui tournament? Uh, well, do you miss it? I think I'm so. trying to set up a line. I, I, I do miss it, yes. Bob Davis, the longtime voice of the Kansas Jayhawks, told Bill before the game, you know, since you quit going to Maui, three liquor stores have gone out of business. <laughs> I think that's an ethnic slur. <laughs> Goodness. Graham in the corner. Mihailuk in the game too. Mihailuk, yeah, bad tough shot. Sviatoslav Mihailuk, mm -hmm. number 10. That's why working with you is a pleasure. You handle the hard stuff. Well, uh, that figure skating background comes in handy. Freeman, nope. Here's Selden. He's got Mikhailuk to the left. He'll take it all the way. Tough shot. He missed two in a row now. Look at the take down there. And no foul. Oh, nice. my gosh, yes. Nice shot by Medford, though. And then Selden slipped. That's nope. nice. Weak side. But gathers Ooh. really a nice job. Wow. I think oh, that's they got just, him? Yeah, that's just great position. And there's Bob. Of course, the chance to. Bob Davis, he'll retire at the end of this year. 32 years. 
as the voice of the Jayhawks and a good friend. Terrific guy. Yeah, he sure is. He's been the eight of the 14 NCAA Final Fours for Kansas announcing the game. And of course, two NCAA champions, 88 and 2008. Larry Brown in 88 with Danny Manny. Whose son is on the Kansas bench. Yeah, Evan. Nice yeah. kid. Here's Mikhailuk. He's from Cherkasy, Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Have you been there? Have I you have danced not. there? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Oksana Bayul, who won the gold medal in figure skating, women's figure, 94. She was from Dnipropetrovsk, uh -huh. Ukraine. Yeah, so I worked you. on that. I got a hanky for you, too. <laughs> I kept trying to pronounce it correctly, and I saw it four or five times after the Olympics. I would say, yep, of the trucks. She said, you're getting closer. <laughs> 42 26. This all started with a 24 4 beginning for Kansas. Oh, tough entry, and they get the foul. A little bit of a break here. And a little bit of a giveaway down low by the trailer. Uh, but just uh, the turn here, you can see the hold in a way. And that's what you want to do. You spin, turn, close. That's going to put Maston at the free throw line. There's a big upside to this kid. He, he really has a, does a nice job in that low post area with either hand, too. 6-7 sophomore out of DeSoto, a suburb of Dallas. You know one of those little towns, I do, you? yeah, yeah. I can I can do your trivia. Nice, nice okay. Ishmael Wainwright. Well, he does the little things for this team. Landon Lucas getting ready to come back on the floor for Kansas. Graham has gone the whole way. You gotta think stop and rebound right now. Put yourself a little bit closer. Jamari Trailer puts it on the floor. Back outside. McCulloch. Fouled in the act of shooting. He'll shoot two. Uh, you just have to do a better job with the pinch and squeeze. And you see Wainwright just outworked. And got himself in position. That's a drill that a lot of guys close practice with. Ish. Makes it a little easier. It does. Mm. You can handle it. Here's some kind of the line. Now, you know, Bill's been last year and had them expecting him to really prosper as a deep shooter. That's, that's his expertise. Big, good size. Six, seven, six, eight. Teller was the Ukraine coach, national team coach for a few years. I don't know if he's gone back. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did not know that. Former Hawk coach, Cougar coach. Nice hesitation, but giving too much at the rim. Yep. Ball on the floor. Who got it? The ball. The Hell ball. And the possession arrow is Baylor's. Waiting for a call. There's Scott Drew, 13 seasons. Off to a slow start his first two or three years, but my goodness, have they played well in the last, what, seven or eight? Resurrected that program. Yeah. And Dad Homer, as you know, terrific coach. Rice and Valpo having a good year, 10 and 3. Back screen, and then screen the screener. They got to not be confused here. They're, they're with nine seconds. Game is 16. And then in the corner, the jumper taken and rattles it on. Now you got to be big on defense now. Go to the rim. These kids good with the bounce. Oh, -ho, the blow by. Cavante. Say it isn't so. Just a lack of days ago. You've got to turn them once to the middle of the floor. That is a killer. You get a little momentum. Don't give them much opportunity. KU squeezes it. Mm. Largest lead was 20. At the break, it's 14. 
That's the end of the first half. KU up 46-32. We'll send you to Adam Zucker in New York with AT&T at the half. After this message and a word from your local station. Points off the turnover, jumps out a little bit. Three points, Selden, four for four. Wow. Hot. But Ellis only played 10 minutes. When he went out, Kansas is not the same team. He's back. See if they get it going as, early, as well as they did early. Well, they do have their starting five on the floor. That means Hunter Nicholson out setting the screen. He played only five minutes in the first half. Getting his sixth start. Here's Ellis, two fouls. He only played 10 minutes. Pretty nice. He's a terrific passer. He's got a great feel for the game. A little bite with the pump. The shot fake gets him up. The merits and fine. Look at that. Look how he guards. He's got him Motley five feet off the box when he was started on the box. Here's Motley. Back outside. Ishmael Wainwright, who's from Kansas City. Uh, Nicholson came underneath. Too, he just came too early. Didn't give anybody a chance to adjust on the weak side. It's just one of those plays where you, you want the double. Watch this read. So he doesn't give anybody a chance to get down. Come high with the hands. Well, Brandon Green comes back in. The third foul on Frank Mason. So he gets an early trip to the bench. And yeah, that's another key guy. With his explosivity. We got a lane violation. Yes. Self-destructing. You want to be sharp. More so in a place like this against a team like this. Devontae Graham will bring it up. He'll move into the point position now. Here's Selden. Taylor, a team, two straight NCAA appearances, looking for a third, nice little angle pass. Motley helped block that over the top. The pass dictates which way you're going. A little drop step and better D. Medford, nice look. Wow, got a little too cute. Wainwright follows, he got it. Well, I think Mickelson did a good job making him be cute. Here's Mickelson. And Brandon Green, number 14. Selden looks for Barry Ellis. And they got Molly on the high side again. Now, if you permit that, that is a long distance high low. You've got to get up on the passer. Let's help your buddy down there on the box. You got a load to cover. That is the first foul on Jonathan Motley, who started 34 games last year. Love the back screen on the inbounds pass. Great setup. Selden with the five, but. The screen set it up. And Rico Gathers just hung his head as he came across midcourt. Well, you know that it's been shown to a nice back cut here. That size makes it a tough shot. Motley. You got to be ready for everything. This team is so good offensively. These have a great understanding. That's the back screen. Now step in, set it up, and cut. That's just gorgeous timing. And Selden with the easy discovery. Motley picks up two quick fouls now. Back cut. Uh, they just flawless. Uh, Ellis just is a common de facto, isn't he? How good is Selden play? Unbelievable. How well is he playing? The point is, the thought is, he's got to be in the mix for player of the year. Uh, you know, they talk a lot of uh, Denzel Valentine, unfortunately injured, will be back. and. He's having a great year, but this kid has been shooting the ball and just effective in that small forward spot. Lester Medford. Well, Bill Self telling us that the two kids in the backcourt, Graham and Mason, have played so well, they were able to put Selden in that number three spot, and he has excelled. And it's such a tough match for the other small forward. who might be more accustomed to being closer to the rim. Nice cut right there by Wayne Wayne. Look at Mickelson. Oh, size. my goodness. It's a size block. He didn't elevate. He just used the 39 sleeve length. <laughs> uh, he, just, the oh, no, they, he did get up a little. He could have slid the morning news under. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Not about that, but in the right spot. And that's part of the deal.
Walk out by Gathers, and he takes the miss. Medford slips. Comes back. Motley backs in. And there was Ellis to make him over the shot. Look That's this. a good one. He's tough. Well, Rico Gathers. Gathers. Well, you can't get around him. You need to roll the quarters with that white body. 12-point margin. Now, Ray's going to have to run the show now with Mason out. Take your pick ball screen. Pick and pop. Ellis for three. Medford, 12-point game. Now, this is a tough match for Green with the speed. Wainwright, nice pass. Gathers short, rebound Ellis. Gathers a little tired too. He's not a guy that can elevate or elevate quickly or high. Now you can just see he's inhaling a little bit, but this is where he's best. Look how he just manhandles with those big shoulders and arms, and he's, he's trying to get a little bit of a blow out there. They need him on the floor. He's holding the hips. Look like you at dinner. <laughs> I provide such a target. <laughs> well, thank God you're so kind. Yeah, well. And not a good <laughs> foul out that far. It's not going to hurt you. Medford. Tayshawn Prince. Tayshawn Prince. Listen, I'm going back, aren't I? Mm. Torian Prince is back on the floor. Well, this one's a righty. Tayshawn was a lefty. They got it. <laughs> That's the third foul on Medford, so he's going to get a rest, and Jake Lindsay is on, the freshman out of Salt Lake City. And we were saying earlier in the half, he does a nice job getting in the lane, so he might be able to blow by and slip it to the bigs. Selden, guarded by Prince. Now Prince has got to start playing. He's a very talented kid. Jumper Graham. Yes. Mm. What a screen by Mickelson. That's for two. No show. Then you pay. Here's Lindsay picked up by Devontae Graham. Look at this screen. Yes, from Rico. That is a large body. Jumper. Freeman. No. Graham's got it. He wants to run. Selby. Ellis saved the Aaron pass. He knows he can unite his favorite. Well, that little drop step spin. A neck ball. You're in trouble when your team leads the country in neck balls. That's why I'm with you. <laughs> the drop step spin. Jump ball. Well, Baylor is trying to stick around. <laughs> Look at that screen from Nicholson. And the jumper from Graham. Time call. Back to Allen Fieldhouse, a 14-point Kansas lead. Big 12 conference opener for both of these teams. And Kansas formidable on this home court. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, they were, you, you gotta be ready. Well, Baylor was it. Full court pressure, great denial, man on the inbounder. Denial on the wing. Nobody stepped and really cut. Too many cooks in the kitchen, as they say. <laughs> Here's Mickelson. There's that back screen again. They get him right to the block. Ellis, step work. Oh, beautiful. No communication. Maybe you got to switch. And Graham with a little small change. Lindsay, great protection. You mentioned only 10 minutes, Vern, for this guy in the first half. You can see it's a different team when he is in there. His contributions, solid. He's relentless. Fundamentally sound. A little pump. By draw this. Nicholson with the kiss to compliment the deal. And they're right here. We get a little back cut. Terrific passer as well. well. They got Ellis off his feet. And a nice little soft shot from Maston. They need Prince to do some damage, I think. The weave again. Ellis again. They rolled them to sleep. Nobody was on Ellis. Ellis has 13. 
Lindsay guarded by Selden. Nice. There's Mickelson. Give it up. Graham. Green. Yes. Boy, they are tough to that open floor. They just blow by people. Explosive. Uh, looking for the timeout. And that's got the Denisons into the game, but they can turn it from one end to the other. As fluid and in the numbers that dominate the block. Mickelson, the lament in Arkansas. And he's here providing the lift. Three. Finish it. With 14.03 to go in the ball game. Jake Lindsay inbounds and finds Motley. Now back to Western Medford. One of three seniors starting for this Baylor team. The quiet senior so far, and he's on the bench again. No, he's on the floor. Prince. And he has the ball. Freeman and Prince averaged 28 points, and between them, they have 10. You gotta get him going. Well, I mean, that's for three. He is a talented kid, but the defense, too. The ball might get into him at the proper time. is a possibility as well. This is a tough match for him. Drag you away. Prince afraid of being beaten with the bounce. Look at this pass. Yep. Mickelson comes out to set the screen. Green green for the jumper. Look at the effort, though. Both Ellis and Mickelson. Now Prince. Freeman. One of the two guys, they, they've got to get him going. Here comes Graham. Into the corner. Well, they know he can shoot it. That's why he's been better with the bounce. Not that time. That's going to be Baylor ball. College basketball on CBS teams. Ryan and Williams up front. Because you know what you can do in the backcourt. Farrell. It'd be fun to see them grow this season in a very, very tough conference as well. Yes. Well, Frank Mason's back on the floor at the point. He has three fouls. This is Prince from outside. He hit his last one. He misses this. Well, what a luxury to have Mason when he goes out to have Graham run the offense. Ellis looks underneath. They always look. The better job harassing the passer that time by Prince. Landon Lucas is back on the floor as well. Tough shot. Good defense by Lindsey. Selden hit his first seven, including four or four from three. A pretty good D to force a tough layup. Mason. Switch <laughs> hands. He just flew by the green shirts. Defense in a little bit of a disarray, not addressing the dribble drive, and he knows he can explode. And how about the adjustment to it, the rim? And he will shoot a free throw. And Motley has picked up his third. Now, Ishmael Wainwright is on for Jake Lindsay. And Mason at the line. Back to an 18 point margin. Baylor got within 12 in this half. There's the jumper from Medford, yes. And Ellis really uh, a little bit confused on how they want to handle the ball screen and too much space. Uh, they load up. Why not go to this guy? Nice cut. And yes. Pass. He's tough. Ellis is the real deal. Great head for this game. Landon Lucas, the beneficiary of the pass. Take him gets to, the best. Take him to dinner, Landon. <laughs> nice cut. Sure was. Motley and on the feed from Medford. Nice find. Quick hitter. Interesting how they keep busy with the lock low. Overload, empty the, the weak side in case you want to lob it. Ellis gets away from on. Oh, nice soft one, but it won't fall. Uh, well, very Ellis showing a lot of talent. He's got John Hadle Rome out. Huh? Pretty good quarterback in his eight day. Matching it by Ellis. 
told you. Oh, and look at this shot. Sunlight creeping through the windows, and that makes it tough for that row to watch this game. I would think. Exactly. They have to come with their shades. Eleven exactly remaining in the ball game. And when the Kansas kids don't need shades, there are just 17 of them, and a nice little alley oop to Prince and the giveaway. Thursday on CBS, start the new year with a big bang. The first new episode of 2016, Thursday at 8, 7 Central, only CBS. Jason Sultan and Graham, to finish that thought, have four assists. Ellis has three. Uh, so they do give it up in an unselfish manner. Uh, Rico Gathers getting ready to come back on the court. That was the third foul, by the way, on Devontae Graham. So he and Mason, both with three. Motley will get a rest. King McClure is also on the court for the second time in the ball game, number 22, freshman. Oh, nice little duck under, wasn't sure it? It was. But they played the ball screen, and Bill not real happy with it. This is McClure, a freshman who was diagnosed with a heart disease, got a second opinion, confirmed the disease, got a third opinion from the Mayo Clinic, and King McClure was cleared to play. And a great story. He, he apparently some high school. 2,700 points and change. Let's see if he can fill it up. There's McClure. He was diagnosed this summer and then cleared in September by the Mayo Clinic. And uh, sometimes a second and a third opinion was beneficiary. Exactly. Beneficiary. He can make those threes, particularly in the corner. There's a perfect trap. McClure saves it. He's guided by Mason. Gives a little spark on offense. He thinks that in. Oh, a little giveaway. On the line, I believe, yes. Well, be aware of the fog, but a lot of times it's a, just terrific read and understanding in there. Unfortunately, to get that kickback pass, but they do that on their own. I mean, that's coached and then instilled, and then they bring it to fruition. Back out to Ishmael Wainwright, number 24, and then into the hands of Medford. Lester Medford from Tucson, Arizona. Good challenge. Like that little modest post up to get him going a little bit. Well, Michigan State, they beat this Kansas team. That's the only loss. That was back in Maui and Valentine had a triple double in that game. Who else do you like on that list? You know, it's amazing. I'm watching Maryland there. Of course, they're one of the best games this year was Maryland, North Carolina. Uh, but all of these teams have a chance, I think. Uh, Louisville, of course, threw them against Kentucky. Providence had them got them next week. And Carolina at times is pretty special. And Xavier, Sumner was injured the other day, and I think they had a big win today, right, against Butler. They did. Uh, hopefully he is fine. A talented young guy at a country day. Just wishing to stay here in the year round. And he just gets the ready. Does he? Saw him uh, in his Michigan State green against Alabama. I did. Yeah. You know, knowing him, he probably wanted to call the plays. <laughs> Alabama are pretty good. I'm sure you didn't see them enough. Well, we saw them seven times this year. Mm -hmm. I like their chances, although Clemson really played well in their win against Oklahoma. Foul call. A pretty good defensive set just to reach and cost them. What do they turn out every year in the SEC? How many pros would you say? Oh, my gosh. 50, 60? Or yeah, probably. That, yeah, um, you know, top to bottom, I, the, the, the argument continues. But having seen an SEC game every, every week of the college football season, pretty good league. Just like the Big 12 is a pretty good league mm -hmm. in basketball, in football as well. But 
How about the strength of this conference? It's, it's you know it's amazing top to bottom because uh, Texas Tech Texas Tech and yeah and T easy for you and TCU uh, you know two of the teams maybe they're not quite on top and they've done decently as well. And how about this kid not backing off? He's not packing the tack at all. Number Thirteen. Mason back outside to Selvin. That's two. He just seems to pick the dribble up too early, and he gets the foul too. So he's got to be careful. I like that competitiveness though. The earlier one he missed, he, I think one more dribble he could cushion this delivery. He picks it up a little early. He winds him out. Pretty good defense to belly a guy over the lane like that. Off the bench, McClure. 13 point margin. You know, when you, you have a lead all game like this, the tendency is going to get a little sloppy. You don't execute quite as well. You lose your interest and concentration. And the other team's just hanging in there. Look at Gathers. He's got a bit of a body, does he not? Mm. And he looks like a football player. Take it from here. Well, you, you use a little envy in that comment by you. Uh, <laughs> I saw Tony Gonzalez play at Cal. Look at Jimmy Graham down at Miami. Antonio Gates. I mean, this is a, and who's the guy who announced when he played in Dallas? Pete Gent. Yeah. Was Michigan a tight State. end at Michigan State. Perhaps you've heard of the novel North Dallas 40. Mm -hmm. Pete Gent, we lost Pete a few years ago, but... Uh, he was one of the first basketball players to make it in the NFL. And of course, Gathers has that kind of body. I hope he has that kind of interest. Nice play by Nicholson. Nice patience to let it come off, being in the right spot. But the dribble drive attracts two. Four eyeballs. You pay. Medford jumper. Nice job by Graham. That speed too high for him to go over the top. Selden. Tried to take it coast to coast. Hunter Mickelson. Yeah, he just does some nice things for this team. You see the ability to get to the rim and everybody moves over, gathers, sort of bears the backside by trying to block it. Boy, Ellis really dives into that low box area. Mason, yes. Soft. McClure at the other end. Picked up by Devontae Graham. Now, we're getting back to the tight ends. Dick McGuire, the old great Nick, he scouted for the New York Giants looking at basketball games to see if there were some kids who might fit the no bill. Kidding. Yeah. Well, you know the Irish guys. They're doing a good paycheck. <laughs> that basket counts. <laughs> Frank Mason. Pretty good, huh? Oh, a time ball. Great floor leader. A partner. Boy, then when you turn it over in vulnerable spots, they are off and you pay mightily. That doesn't do a bad job, you know? <laughs> Lester Medford at the line. He's got 14 points now, 11 in this half. Let's make it 12. A little full court pressure now. See this them to make a mistake. They are in the attack mode generally, though. Yes. Ellis back outside to Mason. So we've got Mickelson. He comes out to set a screen for Devontae Graham. There's a switch. Wainwright out on Graham. Mason goes right, and that's Rico Gathers. And it doesn't matter. Now, he just really has great body control, knows what he can deliver at the rim, win two, and body searches as well. Kansas jumped off to a 24 to 4 lead. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I didn't like that one. I could tell. Yeah, he's not really having one of his A games. Plus court, they use it all. Selden, jumper. Look at this kid. Look at Mickelson. Mickelson. That's all hustle. Way to mix it up. I wonder if he's got a short game with that name. <laughs> ha! Uh, give this kid a lob wedge. Let's see if he can do the flop shot. Uh, uh, just slowly way he mixing it up, competing. And he really makes that tough 10-footer on that baseline. But showing some other influences in his game. Mentioned that he started his collegiate career 
in Fayetteville at the University of Arkansas. He's from Jonesboro. Starting his sixth game today. He's mostly off the bench early in the season. I think Bill feels the younger guys and uh, those bigs in particular, you know, they're coming along and they're going to help. Uh, but right now, I think this start with him, he knows his game, what he's going to contribute. Look at this, he gets another block. Prince. He didn't give up on it either, did he? Uh, getting from one end to the other and getting himself in the spot. Yeah, he got no question. He got a piece of him down low, but uh, very immersed in the flow of the game. That's his third, by the way. And Prince goes to Blonde. Just hanging, aren't they? You mentioned that yeah, word earlier. It's like 14, 16, 15. Well, you kind of felt that they were going to get it to single digits about five minutes ago. Yeah, I thought the basket at the end of the half hurt a little bit. Yes. You know, that, that was two points, but it went to 14 instead of 12. It gave a little juice. A little full court pressure nice here. Play. Nice pass from Graham. Look how he gives it up to the top. Ellis. That is smart. He knew. Yes. He, he knew Ellis. Ellis gave it at the right time. He knew you'd get to give back. It's contagious. Whew. 18 assists this team has. Pick and roll. Medford. Oh, what a handle, huh? Pretty gifted player, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He started uh, last year at the off guard. Here's Graham. Wow. Now, this could be a good lesson for Baylor, though. You know, they're, they're struggling against a very well-disciplined team. Understand exactly how to put you away. That's nice going inside. That's what I thought they would do more of. Nice pass that time by Torian Prince. Under six to go. 16-point margin. Uh, who's going to give it up, too, I think? Yeah, Mickelson. But he got him on a yo-yo, on a string. And the same thing with the ability to be in the right spot on a press. And just move that basketball, give it up early, just head to the rim. And Mickelson knows. Terrific play by both of them. But just a great understanding of how to handle and cope. The pull-up. A lost start, that middle game, Vern. <laughs> That's the fourth on Wainwright. And Ellis shoots two. Green on for Kansas. Jake Lindsay and Motley are on for Baylor. You know, when kids are around as long as Ellis is, he's still here. You know what I mean? But uh, this is a, a testimony to a kid developing his skills, his feel for the game. He has the mentality of a point guard. He's a little bit of a point forward. I, I just like his game. He should get into the clothing business, too. Yes. <laughs> 17 points for Ellis. Let's see, Jamari Trailer is on the floor for Kansas, number 31. Prince guarded by Trailer. And Trailer, there's a foul on Motley, I believe. Yes, it's going to be number four. And Trailer's the one that helped out defensively there. Green was beaten. And uh, look at the game Monday night. Mm. Well, Lon Kruger's got himself a team. Cousins doing a great job on the show. Buddy Heal, big time stroker. Uh, he's averaging 25 per game. Oklahoma undefeated. How about they play tonight. The threes by Buddy, too. Uh, they did a great job out in Hawaii against Villanova. Great solid win. Mitchison shoots one more. They make you act very young, Kansas. <laughs> you know, they, they're so smart. They don't make plays that you're not accustomed to. Motley. Nicholson, what an effort. Yes, forced it out. Yeah, forced a real high-arcing shot. 
There's Lindsay with the steal. Numbers, look at this. Medford. Oh, oh wow. They got a foul on Motley. They don't give up on anything. Now, this is a deuce in the making. The steal, Lindsay with some great effort. And look at this. Four against one momentarily. They give it back, I think. They'll go right to the rim in a little dish to Motley. Instead, Motley ends up fouling. And Motley has fouled out. So Rico Gathers comes back on. Jabari Trailer, his personal story is uh, the journey he's taken. Homeless at the age of 15, his father is doing life in Terre Haute, Indiana for drug trafficking. Uh, he and his mother were estranged uh, for a long, long time, but back together now. And uh, to see him in uniform at Kansas, it's it's kind of amazing. He is a senior, 6'8", out of Chicago. Well, last year, 16 starts. I mean, had a pretty good Michigan State game this year. And he's become a huge crowd favorite here in Lawrence. And you can see why. Medford goes by trailer. Tip. Mickelson again. And uh, Green. Brandon Green, I think. Yeah, with the reach in. No, Mickelson. Ah. Huh? That's his fourth. Mickelson looking at the ref saying, don't you know I have a green jacket? <laughs> Yes, he has. 22-point lead. Well, this is not like an easy team. I mean, the length of Baylor, and the zone wasn't effective early. That hurt them, I think. All right. of a sudden, the confidence built with a deep shot. Marvelous job he's done there, Scott. I was there early on, maybe the first year, second year. You know, later. Well, as you point out, uh, I mean, the program was almost dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was in complete disarray, and Scott took the job. He had one year at Valparaiso, Parizo, excuse me. Oh, boy, the Lutherans are going to be upset with me. Don't let that happen. That's his shot. Uh, we know he can nail them. So he banged a bunch of those against Georgetown last year. Four twenty to go. Prince, nice footwork, and I think he got uh, Trader leaving his feet. You can't leave this guy alone. Closing out late permits that entry. Good-looking pass right in the pocket. Well, over the course of the season, this Kansas team saw Green make that three. They're hitting 45% from beyond the arc as a team. And tonight, they're 9 of 16. Started early. Confidence yep. built. Ellis on for Mickelson. And a nice round of applause. Well deserved by that kid. Place where legends are made, isn't it? Mm. Offense, 87 points per game, fifth in the country, 51% field goal percentage, and look at the three-point percentage, and they've said, exceeded that. Yeah. Here's Prince, green back, oh, boy. Brandon Green. Underneath, dangerous, time call. Selden, covered, <laughs> delivers with some nylon. And the back cut, the pass, Ellis, who plays like a little guy, has that mentality, assists, knows the game, great feel and understanding. And why not get and go to the 10, and Mickelson acknowledges. At the other end, Prince is going to shoot his 11th free throw of the game. This is his team is average 18 assists a game. We're at 19 now, and you know, just read unselfish play. Prince is 10 of 10 at the line. The point was made by Craig Silver and Steve Milton, our producer and director in the truck, that we were t televising the end of the 
Tennessee Auburn game, right? And this game got underway. Mm -hmm. By the time the whole country joined us, it was 24 to 4. It's unbelievable how they started. You know, they diffused the zone and just kept stretching with ball movement, finding the open guy and seldom bang one he almost had a sideline. 30 feet? Yes. Mm. Well, Prince is perfect at the line today. 89-70. Bailey Jimmy doesn't give up this number of points, man. Three forty to go. No time. Yeah. Clock is now at eight. Into the corner. Nice pass. Nice rejection. Oh. Rico gathers. Nice job by the big guy. He just plugs away, doesn't he? Oh, nice hustle by Green. Sure was. Uh, he was out of the play totally. What a great effort, boy. They enjoy that. Jabari trailer back outside. They know the game in this building. I think so. And they're going to let this shot clock wind down. 3.05 remaining in regulation. And they're just shortening the game. That will be Kansas ball. Right, Green was totally out of the play as he drove to the basket. And the last one down. What a read. A terrific head for the game, huh? They think the game. Wainwright is on for Rico Gathers. Medford's going to get a rest. McClure is on the court, number 22. And Mason will inbound. I think Gavis needs a couple of rebounds of another double-double. Graham. Just right down the gut. On the best. Undeterred. Ooh, left hand. You know what they do really well at the rim is body search, hang, and get the chance for a three. Graham has had a very solid game today. Out of Wally, North Carolina. Multi-position kid, too, can run the show when Mason's not there or play alongside him. Graham has 15 points and four assists. He gets a rest. Sviatoslav Mikhailik is on the floor, number 10. Jake Lindsay, number three. This would be a great teaching tool, I think, for Baylor and their staff. You know, all these things that uh, Kenzie was able to do, and maybe even mentally not as ready as they would like. 2.30 to go. 92-70, and they're going to get ready for Oklahoma's visit here on Monday night. This place will be rocking. Bill Self posed an interesting question to us. Foul is called. And uh, we'll continue that after we advise you that tonight on CBS, here's the lineup. Scorpion, NCIS New Orleans, and 48 Hours. Well, he said with Michigan State's loss and a win today, it's likely that Kansas will be, he thinks, number one in the AP poll. But he also thinks Oklahoma coming in, if they win tonight, will be number one in the coaches' poll. How about that? Yeah. And he doesn't think it ever happened before. I think it has. You think? I think so. You think St. John's? St. John's Georgetown. Georgetown. You brought 85? that up. Yep. It's all about effort, concentration. Great deployment, and then complement it with unselfish play. Best team you've seen this year? Live? I think so. Okay. I, I want you to consider your judgment call here because you will be quoted. Well, uh, you know, there's, I, I think there's so many good teams that depends on the night you play them and what you come with. And for minutes and Barclays, we, we love what Carolina did. Yeah, they? I, I think so. Rob, not you know, uh, uh, they kind of couldn't quite handle it. I like Merlin at times. I've seen that as in the state when they were rolling with Denzel Valentine. Austin Mills, a senior out of Beverly Hills, comes on. Scott Drew going to give him a little chance to play at Allen Fieldhouse. He wears number 33. And but know, Gerald Vick is also out there. And, and Kentucky at times. Yeah. You know, they've had games where John's disappointed, but. Uh, 
Their games have been terrific. Kyler. Well, we've talked about uh, Kansas' upcoming schedule. Baylor Tuesday at home against Oklahoma State. And then you see uh, most of the rest of January. They get Oklahoma at home on the 23rd. And here is McKaylick. And how about Tubby, by the way? Down at Texas like Tech. Yeah. Yeah. Number one, that's great. And in fact, this morning, uh, talking to Scott, both of us, he was saying, too, there's no easy out in this league. You want to give a last name to Tubby? Tubby Smith. Thank oh, you. Everything, everything. Nice. Tubby. No. Everybody knows Tubby. Yeah, I got the ring. Well, Thank there's you. some people that have been called that in their lifetime. Oh, dear. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just a thought. 140. Yeah, uh huh? But uh, I mean, one at Kentucky. Mastin. That's all for more. I like him inside. Ninety-four seventy, one thirty-one to go, and uh, Green. Yeah, I think he must have dislocated the finger. Yeah, yeah. Or he's holding his thumb. Uh, Evan Manning and uh, Tyler Self are coming in. Look at, oh, Green is really in agony. Yeah, I think they're going to have to get the trainer right over to see him. Right thumb. Oh, I see that hand reach it in there, and that starts, and all of a sudden, saw him recoil. You know, talking about great players, Danny Manning, you mentioned Evan coming in. Well, you've got Danny Manning's son and Bill Self's son in the backcourt now. Danny, of course, at Wake Forest. Led that 88 team with Larry Brown to the national championship. Right there in Kansas City. Yes. Mills. Well, Baylor is still going to be winless in this building. This is Jake Lindsay. Well, they can join a lot of teams, though. This is yeah. such a great atmosphere. And terrific basketball teams over the years. And Terry Maston with the basket. Hello. Carlton Bray. Huh. Well, they're just one point shy of 100. Maston, another nice player. Now the crowd's urging, and I heard somebody behind us say, get 100. Here's Vic, 4-3. He can make shots. I know that. Pizza for everybody. <laughs> Austin Mills, no. How about that? Yes. A long time. Manning. Crowd was ready, weren't they? Uh, an old back of it out and running the clock out. One oh two seventy four for Bill Raftery, Vern Lundquist saying so long from Lawrence tonight on CBS, Scorpion, NCIS, New Orleans, followed by 48 hours. Kansas wins big. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports. We'll send you to Adam Zucker in New York.